things going down the down the field too much against all the uh, the defensive coverage we were seeing, but did a good job of just kind of taking some completions. I thought the guys practiced hard. They they all their effort. The one thing you don't have to coach with this group that I've noticed is effort, and I want to go and say that. And then Thursday we go out and lay an egg, but it doesn't appear as though you have to coach effort. The guys fly around. They know how to practice. You can tell the culture strong. And um, it's more so just about cleaning up some fundamentals and techniques right now and evaluating every position as we go. I think it's more so just the procedure and just having a solid, you know, sharp, tight operation. You know, the plays will come. It's really not an evaluation phase for us, even though spring, a lot of times you use it as a competition phase uh, for a lot of people. For us right now, this is more so an installation, fundamentals, technique phase. It's not real. I'm not really, we're evaluating each player every day. They're getting graded and we're talking to these guys about things that way. But really, um, it's not so much a competition phase with each other. It's more just how we can we operate at the highest level. And um, I, I think, John, just to be strong at the end of the spring, 15 practices of we've got a base core philosophy in. And then once spring 15 practices are done, we get to summer and we can sort of tweak things to really gear towards the personnel that we have and some of the playmakers and players that we have. But for right now, it's all just about getting this offense installed and these guys, you know, just operating at the highest level possible. Yeah, big time. Um, you know, th I think all three of those players are good, good, solid football players that need to make an impact in our offense. Um, Tyler Higby, Gerald Everett were huge pieces of our offense in Los Angeles, and I think that these guys are going to be very similar in a lot of ways, be able to utilize them um, in the run and the pass game, motion them, split them out, do some different things with these guys that can create some mismatches, you know, down the line. But I think they've done a nice job so far. Coach Vince and, and, and CJ have done a phenomenal job of getting these guys ready. They're extremely well prepared and doing a great job so far. They've come out ready to go every, every kind of walkthrough we've had. And I thought they did a nice job today. We just got to keep working on some things. But overall, a group that we definitely want to be able to utilize moving forward. Honestly, like you said, it's more so the spring game to me is more about the fans and the guys having fun. And like you mentioned, keeping it simple and just that's where you truly get an evaluation of the guys playing because I don't know how many times we'll even tackle throughout the spring. So it's really tough when the backs are getting tagged off on or receivers, are, you know, ball catchers are getting tagged off on. You can't see them truly be special with the ball in their hands. You can see some things and some flashes, but um, – you know, I think that it's one of those things. I'm not too upset about it just really because it gives us another opportunity to teach and to get better. I'm sure the players and fans, I mean, I'd love to have a spring game uh, for, for, the, for the kids, you know, for the kids and for some of the fans and, and families to be able to come out. So that's a bummer from that side of things. But honestly, it doesn't really hurt our process. Um, it's really more so just the final, you know, you know, final deal of spring, and it would be a great opportunity for these kids to get out there and compete. But it just leaves us another practice to get better. So, uh, have you found a quarterback? <laughs> I mean, this was the first day seeing these kids throw, so absolutely not, not yet. You know, these guys all did a great job. How are you getting them to install this offense and get to, to see him throw football? So? 
Yeah, I mean, the, the, I got to give credit to the kids, man. They, they've been hungry. You know, they've been hungry. They've been trying to get extra film work on their own. They've been up with some of the other coaches. You know, Mark Perry and Josh Estesua have done a great job helping develop these kids. And, um, you know, it's just more so, a, you know, a testament to getting these guys up and learning a little bit of the offense. I mean, I thought we did a solid job operationally with not too many balls on the ground today. Um, and it's really just, like you said, sinking my teeth in these guys and just try to help them get better. I mean, I don't even care who's even in in the huddle. I'm just trying to see, evaluate the position and try to get these guys, hey, everybody's on the same footwork. Everybody's on the same drop. Everybody's cadence is the same because we need to have that sameness for the rest of the unit to be able to operate. Every single route that we throw is off of a certain you know footwork by the quarterback. So getting all that stuff done, it's so hard right now to be able to say, even I can't even tell you who had a good day. I have no idea. I just know that the group as a whole, we threw and caught pretty well. I thought the kids operated well at, at a high level at the quarterback position. You know, for what we're looking for, it was a solid first day. But all those guys were hungry, man. All throughout since I've been here, they've all been hungry and really just getting them around to get to know them a little bit. And, and that's all that's been so far. Yeah, when I, when I first saw these guys really run around on tape and in the bowl prep practice, when I watched all that stuff, um, very impressed, you know, very impressed. And you just know uh, Coach Slar just did such a good job with these kids, man, from a culture standpoint, from a f technique fundamentals and all that stuff. I mean, these kids were extremely well coached, um, disciplined, good kids that were hungry and eager. And I know Coach – Eric Wolfer's done a phenomenal job with these guys since he's gotten here. And, and obviously, we've, you know, Kennard and, and Fortner and some of those guys leading the way from an older guy standpoint, it's been great just having them. I mean, they, they have a great way about them that, to me, just that's going to be the identity of our offense and of our team is, is, is as far as our offensive line takes us is where I want this thing to go. Obviously, we need to get better at throwing the football, but all you guys know – running the football and protect and they've done a good job of since being here and I, I want to continue that as we move forward they're impressive I mean they're big kids they're bigger than the guys in LA I mean we had Rob Havenstein who was the fridge he was huge Whitworth's huge too but he's built like a freak but our interior linemen now are bigger than I thought they would be and uh, and they can move pretty well and it's just a matter of hey they've run a little bit more tight zone over the last couple of years um, just kind of getting some of the different schemes in that I think will help some of the techniques that we're getting uh, from a week-to-week -week basis. But great unit so far. Really pleased with them. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to say because, you know, Will Levis has still got to come into the program, you know, at some point here when he gets in. I think that's when we'll truly have an evaluation and a competition once he gets in here. Um, you know, but it's more so, like you said, I got to believe, let, you know, as we go throughout spring practice, we'll have an idea of somewhat where we're at in terms of one, two, three, four, five, and, and, and then who will, will, will be competing with for the job ultimately. But, um, you know, I, I think that's something we'll have an idea of after spring practice for sure. I mean, I, I got to believe that that's something we'll be able to identify um, towards the end of spring practice. And, and I think that, guy, you know, the guys will know. You know, that's the thing about this game is their tapes, their resume. And, and these kids are going to know by watching the film where we're at. And, and what we need to do to, in order to get better and put themselves in a position to compete for the job. And I think all those guys are eager and hungry to do, hunger, hungry to do so. It's just a matter of the reps and, and things like that.
Hey, speaking of Will, A, what did you kind of like about him as you were looking in the trace report, looking at his film, and B, how much can you communicate with him in terms of giving him some coaching about what the offense is going to look like when he does get here in terms of the playbook or whatever? Yeah, I think one of those things that I, I knew Will a little bit when I recruited him prior, when he was coming out of high school, out of Xavier High School in Connecticut, and, um, you know, just knowing it just his body type. He's a big, strong kid that – can truly, you know, really throw the football. You know, it's one of those things that he can throw the football. Um, and, and the one thing he can also do is he can run. You know, he's had some ability to run the football at Penn State. And um, it's more so for him just about putting it all together and becoming that true uh, dynamic quarterback at all three phases for him, running the football operationally and throwing it. So um, I think he's going to come in and, and give, give it a go, just like he would if he was at Penn State or anywhere else. You know, I think that we're going to create that competition and give these kids the summer to be able to get through some of that stuff. And, and honestly, he's been hungry as well and, and hungry and eager. He's been able to get on the phone with some of the guys and, and um, learn the offense and be able to get him some of the information to get a jump start on this thing. But he's the type of kid you don't have to stay on him about working hard. You know, he's, he's going to work at it. And um, he's done a nice job so far of just trying to keep up on it and uh, get in the film room as much as possible with some of the Rams film, be able to watch some of that stuff, which has helped uh, get a little bit of a jump start on the offense. All right, we'll wrap up with Josh Moore and then get uh, Josh Ali on here. Liam, we, did the receivers, I think, with you, of all the groups are probably being asked to do some different stuff, you know, more or at least more different stuff than maybe what they've been doing. How are you? How are they responding? What have you seen from those guys here just a, you know, a day in? Yeah, like you mentioned, it's it's a group that um, has done some nice things and just wasn't asked to do some of the things that we're asking them to do right now. So um, they're all very capable. You know, they're all capable. We just got to make sure we uh, evaluate the position as much as we go. But really, it's right. Like I mentioned, it's about fundamentals and technique for those guys running some different routes that they've run, Josh, in the past and some formations that are a little bit different for them. I mean, it's new for everybody. But especially the receivers, just asking them to do some of the things that made Cooper Cup great and Robert Woods and Brandon Cooks, Josh Reynolds, those guys were able to block so well. And that's something that these guys have already done a nice job of over the last couple of years. Now we got to see them make plays with the ball in their hands. I, I know they can block. I want to see them throw, you know, throw and catch and be special with the ball in their hands. And so I'd say the receiver position is probably one of the ones that you see and you're trying to evaluate just what they do when they catch the football. Because right now, it's the only position that you can truly get a great evaluation of outside, even though we're playing tag. I do think that you can evaluate some of the skill sets from these guys. And, you know, Josh Ali leading the way out of that room is just um, the type of kid that just does everything right. You know, does everything right, works his tail off, finishes, and, and he's just the leader of that group. And we need to continue to push from the top and him to ask, you know, be demanding of that unit and that group. And Joe Vaughn's done a great job. So um, I do think it's a room that we're intrigued. It's intriguing to see some of those kids run around and catch the ball a little bit more than they probably have in the past. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.